Hello, how are you doing? Things are changing in the world very fast, sometimes day to day, hour by hour. If your salon is not shutting down yet, it's preparing to or it's about to be. So you can't get to your nail salon. I can't help you with the bigger problems in the world, but I can certainly help you with your nails. I'm going to show you how you can shorten them to extend and not get broken. Let's get started. I did these nails about five days ago and I did some press-on nails just from Walmart, I think it was. They're a Kiss brand. And it was a great little quick nail to put right on, but now they've grown out about five days and I thought I would shorten it. Now, if you've just been to the salon, your nails are probably looking fine, but as they grow out, they're going to get a little bit longer. How you can extend their life so they don't break off on you, or if they're starting to feel a bit wobbly, you can shorten them. In the next coming days, I'm going to do a series of videos of, of nails at different stages as to what to do and how to handle them. And then we'll get into how to fill them in your, yourself, actually. So I just want to explain, this has a little bit of alcohol ink on it um, because I was trying to seep it into the cracks to be able to make the cracks appear so you could see them a little bit better on camera. It's not chili pepper or anything nasty, just colored ink. So the reason why we want to shorten our nails, as they grow off the nail bed, they get longer and they're more apt to want to break on this end of things. So you have to shorten them so the leverage isn't heavy. And unfortunately, when they grow out, they're growing away from the cuticle and making it sort of top heavy. But if you shorten that length right off, you just need to get yourself a good file. Now, try to order this online somewhere, but you're looking for about a 180 grit, okay? And all you wanna do is you wanna be careful. You kinda wanna hold your finger yourself if you can. Sort of brace your finger. So I'm working on the index finger. I'm gonna take this finger and sort of, with my thumb as well, brace this finger as much as you can. And you wanna saw it back and forth with like I say, a good file. And all we're trying to do is shorten the length off. And by holding it a little bit, you just give it a little bit more leverage. So, okay, see that? how I shortened that right down. It didn't take much. If you get a good file to do that, you can shorten it pretty quick. So let's hold this one a little bit and you can see how fast that went. Now a tip is a lot easier. These are very thin. As you can see, they're not in great shape. I did a video putting them on and at the end of the video, I did a little update to show how they fared. And there's a lot of cracks and breaks from a distance. They look actually pretty good. You wouldn't really notice them. But if you take a good look, you can see the little cracks and where it's starting to have service breakdown. So they're easy to file because they are quite thin. So when you're dealing with acrylic, which is what I have on this hand, it will take a little bit longer to file it down. But this one took, let me see. Let's do this one. I don't really have to hold it actually because it's quite short, so it's not really hurting me at all. To give you an idea of how many times, being that this is a thin plastic tip from the store, it's a quick little press on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about 28 files across the top with a coarse file took care of that. But you know what? I'm going to shorten this one to show you exactly how long acrylic might take. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm going to do it because I want you to see the diff. So acrylic is thicker, it's stronger, doesn't have all those cracks and breaks on it, but it can be a little harder to file because it's stronger and thicker. But so that was as many files that I did. And you can see, I really just took off the very end of it, where this one I was able to take off quite a bit. So it's quite a bit more to go through, but you can do it, that's the point. So if you can't get to your nail tech and your salon, you can do this on your own just by filing them right down. So I will do it with a coarse file, and then I will take a fine or a medium file. And what you wanna do is you're just, you don't wanna leave it so coarse, but you can just file the edges a little, just to soften that so you don't have a rough edge there. And I will tell you a little tip. If you slant your file under and catch the corners, can you see that, cameraman? See how I've just got the corners hitting it? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, if you just file that, you will soften and round those corners without having to actually do it this way, and it'll be much more even. That's just a little professional tip. And then you can just go swipe, swipe, 
and then you're good to go. And that will make your hands feel a lot better. You won't feel that weight on the end. It'll take it right off for you and relieve the pressure so that you won't break these any sooner, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna continue to do some videos. I'm gonna do a series of videos of showing you the different links. So I hope you join me for those ones, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope that helps. Take care and be safe.